stack. I am seeing that there is a couple things I need to get done here. Number one. Oof. I guess I gotta go for the proton launchers because that's step one to the neutron launchers. Take a quick look at these, see that nothing bad happened unexpectedly good. Blasting these troops. They do tank. Much like they did pre patch. They're decent tanks. Especially when you aren't using ideal weaponry and the like against them. Ah, you prick. And my fleets are all busy, of course. You prick. Somehow he's still got one and a half thousand here. I think maybe you should come and help my troops. I would rather not pull them out. Sure. Yeesh. This is where I feel like I wish I'd put something other than kinetics on this. But it's only troops. It's not like my ships are actually getting killed here. Speaking of troops... Damn, you have to go around that way. That would explain why you're not there yet. Nice. Extra nice. Take out the big one. With the gateway and the fleet. I think I will get armor from the debris I collect here. Nothing at all. Well, I'm sure to get Vessels some from upgraded. there. Vessels upgraded. Vessels upgraded. It will be cutting soon <clears throat> in 
the next 10 to 15 minutes, I think. Trying to get as much done as I can. troops. I lost more troops to a tiny ass fleet than these guys lost. They're still half strength to three different fleets of battleships. Ridiculous. Of course it is on Grand Admiral. They get all the bonuses. Actually, no. Go ahead. Take some more territory. You did your job coming back and saving those guys. Battleships will take care of this eventually. Construction. But I noticed that afterwards, and I still got lots of play, ah, space to work with. Hmm. Looks like I need to finish this little bit off. I can go through this way, but what's in there? Need to finish this off too, though. So let's go ahead and do that. killed 30 of them. Seriously. Construction complete. I thought so. Vessels upgraded. Vessels upgraded. Vessels upgraded. Planetary invasion commenced. That save tripped me. <clears throat> Not much left of the United Nations of Earth. Called it the Nidus. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Enemy presence exposed. I don't see anything on sensors, so I think there's nothing in there. Hopefully, there's nothing in there.
only three people here. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of unemployed people on Valcath. I'll take care of that. Machines. Sentinel Stronghold. Ta da. All right, so just got off work, ready to start the next day's worth of stuffs. I'm thinking in the first hour I do tonight, I'm going to be able to walk all over the remnants. Ah, I can already feel I'm having trouble talking. We'll see if we can work through that. Should be able to walk through the remains of the United Nations of Earth and both of these guys. I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce the name when I'm already having tongue twisters on normal words. After those guys are wiped out, my primary target is these guys. The spiritual ancients that, for some reason, have no problem at all with me hugging their borders on almost all sides despite the fact that I am death robots. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain, because if they had attacked me, that may have gone poorly. I won't rule out the possibility I might have been able to pull some shenanigans and win, but I don't think I could have, necessarily. Not without losing an incredible amount of stuff along the way. Enough to slow me down more than help me if I did win. But that's not going to be an issue. Because when I go for them, I'm going to be going in with a whole bunch of battleships. <clears throat> so, in keeping with everything, I am trying to have as little activity off camera as possible. So, I do have some boring crap to do here. This looks like it needs some amenities. It is definitely a bit trickier getting amenities when you are death robots. As, well, I shouldn't say as biological, because I haven't played every type of biological I could, but the biological guys that I generally play with. What am I doing? The biological guys I generally play with don't have any problem at all with amenities. I love the hollow theaters, but at the same time I do end up ignoring them for extent because they're just not necessary. The unity would be nice, but I don't really need it. This is already set for a production world, so that means alloys. This is not decided on that front. It does look to be energy based. I can always use an uplink node. This is definitely research, and I definitely need to deal with amenities here, so... Yeah. 
thought I read something for a second that made me question whether I knew the mechanics as well as I thought I did. But then, yeah, I do. Well, I guess we should have some minerals here. Take advantage of the minerals. Here is a refinery world. Yeah. So, we can do moats, or actually, energy is a big problem in this game. So if I've got a building that can help with my energy, I'm going to use it. Looks like this place is good. Basically just needs more research labs. This one... Uh, I would have hidden the notifications to stop that from blacking out a part of the video. You can't even see what people are saying. But I did find it useful to prompt me to talk about stuff. So I figured I'd leave it on. That was him commenting on my last comment. We were talking about difficult platinums <clears throat> or difficult games to 100% because not all of them are actually platinum enabled games. Some of them just have trophies. They don't have a platinum trophy because they're not a disc based game, which was a requirement to have a platinum in the early PS3 days. I'm not sure if it's actually still in effect now. It might not be. But he's saying grounded mode on Last of Us is 6 out of 10. Last of Us, I played through the game. I loved the game. It was a great game. Enjoyed it. Very good story. <clears throat> I beat it on, if I'm remembering correctly, the second hardest difficulty. Or maybe the second level of difficulty. I can't remember for sure right now. But I beat it, and despite beating it, not on the easiest level of difficulty, that much is certain, but on the next step up, if not the step above that, I only got three trophies in the entire game. And I was like, oh, just how crazy is this game for trophies? And then I saw how many online trophies there were as well, and I was like, you know what? I'm good. It was a fun game. I played it. I beat it. Great story. But I don't need to go through that. So I cannot comment on how difficult it is. I just know it was going to be time consuming enough that I had no interest. The game that prompted the conversation was Final Fantasy IX, which in theory should be a very easy platinum any Final Fantasy should be an easy platinum they aren't generally difficult games unless you do stupid things there are so many things I like here <clears throat> but 9 is very much an odd game out there are trophies in that game that I would never even attempt anymore I remember when I first played Final Fantasy IX back in the late 90s, might have been 2000, but I'm pretty sure I got it as soon as it came out. I got 8, 9, and 10, and X2, and 12, all on the days that they came out with the guides that came with them. I wouldn't use the guide until my second playthrough, but I wanted the guide because I'd get it cheaper if I bought it with the game. I saved like 25 or 30% on it. I think I'll go with Unity. But when I played 9, I did 100% the game on my second playthrough. I did everything. I did the jump rope, I did Hippal, I did Ozma, I did every single thing there was to do in the game. I even went to the trouble of getting every single card and leveling them all up. That took a ridiculous amount of time, let me tell you. <clears throat> I've still got the PS1 memory card with that save file on it somewhere. Because it was my thing from Final Fantasy VI on, which was the first game I played in the series, was VI. From that point onwards, I 100%ed every single game in the series I played. 
and then I got to X2, and that was a disappointment, and then 12, which hammered in the disappointment, and then 13, I was like, okay, this series is dead now. I couldn't even Platinum 13, I didn't have the will to play it enough, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. But it would be an easy game to Platinum, I just can't bring myself to play it enough to do that. Final Fantasy 9, while I did do everything in it once, but I have memories of breaking a few controllers doing jump rope. Most of the game was pretty easy, but jump rope, holy hell, that was not easy. Now you can cheese it today, you can just go ahead and do remote play to a PC, write a macro, make it easy as hell. You can get the entire, well, all of the difficult trophies in the game you can do that with. But I wouldn't do that. That's You didn't earn that trophy. You cheated. If I have to cheat for a trophy, then no. <clears throat> I will go to some levels. I will play with two different accounts on two different consoles. If I have to, if it's an option. But that's not cheating. That's actually using more skill. Because you have to play with two different controllers simultaneously. There are some circumstances that it could be kind of cheating, like if you're cheesing a multiplayer game to get a certain number of kills in one game or something. But I wouldn't do that. It would be something that I needed two people for. Generally a co-op game. <clears throat> and there was no way to do it without two people, but I didn't know anyone else who had the game. Under those circumstances, I would definitely go to consoles. I've done it with a few different trophies. But I would never use a macro for Final Fantasy IX. I could not justify that. And the idea of going through all of those trophies legit, nope, not interested. Was not a fan of the game in general. I think it was a step back from Final Fantasy VIII, <coughs> which was one of my favorite games in the series. <coughs> Just so you know how you can rate yourself versus me, because I am aware that most people are not a big fan of Final Fantasy VIII, and I understand why. There are definite reasons that are valid for not liking Final Fantasy VIII. They just don't happen to apply to me. I love the game. In and out. No part of the game did I have any problem with. It was an awesome game. But 9, eh, 9 was a huge step back in my opinion. There was no steps forward there. I could get into it, but if I spend too much time focused on talking about that, I will not be able to play this very well. From Final Fantasy 9, we went to talk about games that are very hard, because that's what started the conversation. And I mentioned a game on the PS3 that I played that I consider the only game I've ever played that I don't actually believe I could 100% it. I have played thousands of games in my life. I haven't beat them all. There's a lot of them I haven't beat. But it's not because I couldn't beat it, it's because I didn't want to. Either I didn't like the game enough or it was too tedious, or something along those lines that decided, nope, not going to go there. I will admit, GTA 4 screwed me. I earned the Platinum on that game, and I don't know if you can still see it, but at the time, if you went to the Rockstar, Le Rockstar leaderboards on PS, well, for GTA 4 in general, you would see my name on every single one of the scoreboards, and I was in top 10 in some of the helicopter races for I don't know why, but for some reason people were just not good at flying in that game, and I just dominated 
pretty much anyone I ever flew against in a race. 90% of the time, I'd never even get to finish the race. They just rage quit. I got lapped them or double lapped them, and poof, they're gone. And I was like, well, I'm going for, at this point, I'm just going for records and repetition to see if maybe if I play this enough times, I will actually get the platinum pop, but it never happened. I did earn every single thing I needed to earn to get the platinum, but it just never came. Very sad. But Burn Zombie Burn, that's a game I'm not sure I could actually platinum. I didn't put enough effort in to say it definitively, but I've got a real strong feeling that that is just too much. It's too much for me. And just to give something of a comparison, Wipeout is somewhat legendary as being one of the most difficult games to platinum on the console. I didn't platinum it, but at the same time I never felt like I couldn't platinum it. I'm just not big enough on racing games to enjoy them enough to devote enough time to memorize with my muscle memory that game sufficiently to get the platinum. If you look at my trophy list, there's not really much in the way of racing games. I've got Burnout Paradise, but that's... It had racing, but Burnout was never about racing. It just had racing. Burnout was about crashing stuff. What's this? Tiny little 6500 fleet. This one is way down there. You guys are having to go and take this stuff. I should double check and make sure my troops are not good. And these guys good, because they're up here. <laughs> Wipeout qualifies as one of those games that I think I could plat. I just would never be able to have the motivation to actually do so. That being said, because I haven't done it, it's certainly possible that I couldn't. I haven't played it enough to be able to say definitively that I couldn't do it. Or that I could do it. I just feel that I can do it. Burn Zombie Burn, I do not feel like I can do it. That feels impossible. I do like the game. It was a fun game to play. I put quite a few hours into it. No regrets on playing it, but it's not an easy game, that's for damn sure. Gotta get my free alloys. <clears throat> My allergies are kicking in a bit right now, so if you hear me sniffling, I apologize. It's that time of year. One of the reasons why I love winter, never get allergies. Screw summertime. Bugs are terrible, allergies are terrible, heat is terrible. The only thing about summer that I like at all is scantily clad, beautiful ladies. And that's only because I'm a guy who likes beautiful ladies. <laughs> but I would trade that in a heartbeat for a couple of feet of snow quite happily. And yeah, starting to lag a bit. There. Run 
minute at a time. I don't want to have to go through all of my planets when I've got the alerts to work with, so I'm just going to pause it to do that. Ooh, get neutron launchers. That's sweet. I'll be respecting my battleship soon. I would have thought I'd have gotten this by now. I think I want this. Get a little bit more amenities out of those drone storages. I am having a little bit in the way of amenity problems. I think you can go this way. You can hit both of these. Ugh, come on. Terrible. And I guess we'll just send you there for the moment, because I might forget which way the other guy's going. You can go take that guy out, who's apparently thinking what? The Enterprise was destroyed? You bastards. You dirty bastards. Time to clear these guys out of space. Yeah, that'll do. And these guys are all up here. Gonna have to send... Well, maybe not. We'll see. I am not pleased. pleased at all. Place the Enterprise. At least I do have some dudes available to step in. I do not need that guy.
This must be an ancient. Clearly you underestimated the power of the singularity, because we are here now. You can go over there. Seriously not shooting this guy? Oh, I don't need that. Oh, can't do anything with you right now, of course. Maybe those guys just landed, but I think there was also still one. Uh, that's a weird shape. Definitely the strangest shape I've ever seen an ancient be. Very shortly, both of these guys will be reduced to a single system with a single planet. I think that's going to be my production vanishing, the thing I never really needed. <clears throat> Something that seems like absolute fiction these days, actually throughout my entire life. The idea that we could ever have the United Nations of Earth, and just don't see it on this kind of scale. This is going to be a, oh, these guys, interesting. Oh, wow. And here we just got colony ship and puny fleet. Here there's troops. How many troops you got? That's a lot of troops. How about you go kill those troops? And you can now come and help bomb the crap out of these guys. Help nope. ran myself that energy. Running out of energy is not conductive to a good time. Uh, 
that's the kind of thing that's going to make me go through all of my planets. I think with all of those upgrades, I can afford to change this one. Although, these don't have upgrades. I haven't bothered to upgrade my foundries. And that will be a lot of jobs, so let's go ahead. guys do these guys have? 111, 114, and these guys can go right through their space which is not cool. Means I have to leave something behind here. I can't just send everything. You know, cheap. I do not see this system. Ah, way over here. Okay. You're a dick who wants to take out a science ship. Well, you go intercept that dick. This can come down now. It's going to be a heck of a long trip, but must be done. I think two fleets up here is going to be sufficient. Why aren't you killing that? Kill it. You are on aggressive. Forty-four pops down to three troops. Yes, it is a good time to conquer a world. <clears throat> make sure they don't have anything left. Good. Don't want to make the same mistake twice and kill them off when there's still space to be taken. Oh, wow. That's a powerful star base. Kill it. did it a bit there. <coughs> wow. <coughs> did I burn that too much? I did. Ah, sorry about that. Well, what's these? Already had to be replacing one, might as well just get rid of both. We can make another production world or another refinery world. We'll figure it out later. 
make sure we got some peeps here. Yes, we do. Good, good. And the you now long uh, you now no longer matter, except as batteries. For which I thank your generous contribution. You're going, you're not. I'm thinking I want to keep this somewhat simple. If nine is staying, eight can stay also. Eight can go there. Well, maybe eight can stay here. It looks like that might be the best place. I do not need this one. I'm still four over. Kind of need there, but not here. Not here. Need that one. I need that one. Do not need that. What else over here do I not need? Definitely don't need that. This one. If it's a shipyard, I might have to keep this. Yeah, it was. I remember it now. So. These guys are all going. Good, good. You might as well follow them. This unnecessary, and I'm pretty sure I remember that I wanted this one. Yeah, it's already built up anchorage, <clears throat> definitely got to keep that. I'm keeping this, so I might as well actually do something with it. Anchorages are good. took the base out, now they're killing the troops. Definitely did a lot better of a job of it than battleships. See guys, you're not in danger of getting vaporized at a whim by me. You're too useful at killing little things. Well, rip your fleet. For Grand Admiral, these guys are not putting up much of a fight. Ah, yes, the people who wanted to go over here for some reason. One can never understand the AI. So, I guess it's onwards. Might as well just go there. Up here. No, that's terrible.
lot of debris, actually. Speaking of, I should have two science ships doing stuff. Right, so you go there, and then there, and then there. This one. Looks like that's the only debris, and then you can survey that. This one is way over there, this one. Do this one first, and then you can get over here. said you're allowed to have construction ships. I sure didn't say that he was allowed to have construction ships. There's a lot of people. <coughs> Not actually all that many troops. So, that would be 16 is 20, so 3 each, which means 9 more battleships. some debris. A single Corvette that's basically already dead. It's got barely any armor. Well, barely any hull. He does have shields. They both have shields. Though, I don't see that lasting too long considering... Oh, there they go. Uh, they should have been looking at their sensors. If I was the captain of a corvette and I saw three fleets of 13 battleships, I guess if it's the home world, if it's Earth, fuck it, we're all dead anyway. I'll go down with the rest of the people. But if it's a colony, pff, I'm out of there. See ya. No value in throwing the lives away for no chance of a victory. <clears throat> small corvette that had like a thousand people on it then I might actually leave anyway because maybe I could actually restart the human species somewhere else 
it would be enough people to have enough genetic diversity to possibly do it. Maybe. Probably wouldn't go too well because with that few number of people, you'd be wanting to pick the right people to make up a thousand people. It would be pretty sketchy. But possible. Maybe the descendants would be a little bit more likely to have certain genetic conditions, this, that, and the other. But it might be possible to grow the human species somewhere else. If I had enough people to try that, then I would probably try that. Because if it worked, then we can look for revenge against those dirty fucks. Blew up Earth. They must all die. They must all suffer horrible deaths. Not a lot in the way of good choices. That is kind of tempting, but I'm not really worried about people attacking me. I could just go for this, but I know I can get a bunch of debris from amoebas and just do it for free. I think I'm going to go for the glaciers. What's this? Puny Fleet 2K? Yeah, good luck with that, but... Change that. Yes, I did. Alright. Can't believe I haven't seen plasma cannons yet. I've had the tier 2 plasma for quite a while, tier 3 just not showing up for some reason. No one. Figured the troops would be dead by now. Which means the Vengeance fleets can move forwards. That was not a fight I was anticipating necessarily went about as well as I would have expected it though definitely kicked their ass oh Pro oh that's got to be because I got battleships building I thought I spread that out enough but maybe not Fortunately, I do have quite a lot of excess of this stuff. 